The countdown to sun o'clock is on. It's 20 to 6 in the morning, so I've got about another hour before I can get out there and film. It's looking like we might have a similar day to yesterday. It's actually brighter at this time than it was yesterday. And yesterday turned out to be wonderful. Apparently it's raining tonight and all day tomorrow. So this is actually the morning after I did the gardening work, which I'm about to talk about. So you're going to see me trying to make a fire last night. Yeah, it didn't go too bad, but it didn't burn it all. So I'm hoping another day of sunshine and the drying out that the half five I did last night uh, I might actually be able to get a proper fire going so yeah it feels pretty amazing to earn some money and I realised I was going to say the first time since I was you know come back to England but then I was like no didn't make any money when I was living in Thailand <laughs> just spent a lot uh, and then three years before that we're in a community centre I mean the night before I will talk more about this community centre I'm going to do a breakdown of each video the first one's about to release, be released well, the first one has been released actually on Patreon, but that was an illegal business. Uh, so the, the first video about my first legitimate legal business is about to be released or may have already been released. If it has, it's here. So yeah, the night before the council came and closed down my community centre in uh, Sobey Bridge, West Yorkshire, uh, I paid myself a thousand pounds and I'd actually just got it working. But we're going to talk about that more in a separate video. So yeah, it feels like yesterday was the first time I earned money since I sold a dog crash. Again, we'll talk about that in a second separate video. I will just do a quick breakdown actually of my businesses and then you know there'll be videos on it more. So uh started off as somebody who carried sacks of herbs around and I made a lot of money doing that. Uh but it was quite dangerous. But yeah, that's all on Patreon. Then there was a dog walking business which was a huge success, probably where I made most of my money, that and the first one, or property as well, Bitcoin too. Um, but yeah, in terms of businesses, that and the first one were the ones I made money, and the third one as well, the dog crush. So yeah, the dog walking business became Yorkshire's first dog socialization center. We'll be doing a video on that soon. And then it all went wrong. I took too much LSD and found God and started doing crazy things like setting up 8,000 square foot Methodist churches for conscious people, new ages. Anyway, so there will be a separate video on that. But back to yesterday's money earning. So yeah, I really impressed myself. I basically said to her, you know, I'll do it for half of whatever quote you've had. And she said, listen, I've had a 300 pound quote, so I'll give you that. Uh, so in my head, I'm like, okay, that's 30 hours. I spent about 10 hours yesterday and I've almost done it. So I reckon I earned about 20 pound an hour yesterday. And then that led to, so I'm finally buying my own food, which feels great. It was actually quite challenging. I mean, uh, <laughs> when I was in Lidl, like, spending 16 pounds, I was like, oh. And I will be honest, the desire in me, so I used to be a thief, only from corporations. I'd never steal from individuals or independents. But the way I see it, the way corporations are uh, just, well, destroying us and... Ah, come on. Um, yeah, just you know, look at Tesco's profits drawing a cost of living. Do I need to say any more? Look at the energy companies. I mean, that's the most disgusting one. The energy companies' profits during this time of high energy bills, like all obviously manufactured and fake to get you out of your homes and make you depend on the system. They'll be giving you universal basic income soon and then you'll be their slave and have to do whatever you, they say. So yeah, when I was in the door, I was like, oh, that could go in my pocket, that could go in my pocket. But, yeah, I'm really serious about this God stuff and Jesus is transforming my life. And it's, it's, it's not even a moral thing or like, oh, God will shut me down. It's like, can I lean into trusting God more? Can I show God that I trust him with every action I, I take? So obviously, if I was to steal, that would be saying to God, I don't trust you to provide. Um, you know, it's the same as commenters on here, like, you know, I, I know who the hateful ones are. And there's a I mean, I do the really hateful ones, I just block and delete, but, you know, there's a couple of guys on there, that I'm like, I really should delete this guy, I and mean, then it's like, oh yeah, but they're good for the algorithms, they comment and watch the videos. But, you know, if I just deleted them, another five subscribers will come, because that's how God works. It's like, you know... Can you lean into the pain of yourself? Can you lean into your fears? And you know, if you lean into them and feel them and dispel them, um, then you know, naturally, what people would call law of attraction, things will change. But also God will be like, well done, here's a treat. Ah. Oh.
There he is. Blue skies. Let's ignore the chem jails and let's just enjoy it. Wow. Honestly, I got to a point where I didn't think I'd see that again. I guess because I've been out of England for a year. And I'm definitely over pessimistic about England. I definitely... Yeah, I'm getting stories that I'm never going to see the sun. Oh, it's the end of September. I'm not going to see the sun again. Uh, and it's perfect timing because I am earning my first bit of cash, cash, money, money since coming back to England. Or, well, since... Oh, my God. You know, possibly in five years, really. Okay, gardening job number two before clip. So I've just, I've been doing about two hours of gardening and I've just taken a break for coffee, but it's black because... Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. We have no cow's milk. We only have this, which is full of estrogen and will give you tits. And this is why all the men in the country are now soy boys. We have a big controversy of the day is that I'm using the oven. I'm pretty sure in this video, if I can find it and remember which one it is, I talk about how my parents don't use the oven anymore because of the cost of living, even though they can totally afford it. Um, you know, they use the microwave because it's cheap, even though it makes your food poisonous, radiated, and tastes like shit. So, I'm doing a baked potato in the oven, so my dad's not really happy. Three hours of using the oven. But you know, it is a bit of a piss take when they don't do it, but. Can't use a uh, microwave. Alright, oh, right. what does we think? So, think, not think. Uh, so, that is. So, they employed me for another three hours. I'm about five hours in. I cleared it all in, I would say, about two and a half hours. Now, I did get given a power saw, that made it a lot faster. But what takes ages, you know, I'm learning, is clearing this. I mean, this was three times bigger. Now, the neighbour that very kindly lent us this, basically lent my dad this to help with the first garden I was doing, has come out and gone, hmm, this is getting a little bit industrial. Uh, you know, he's pretty pissed off. Uh, but you know, I was like, I totally understand, mate. I just got a bit more work, carried on. And he was like, yeah, yeah, I get it. But uh, you need to stop. And I was like, well, can I just finish this? And I did offer him some free gardening work as a thank you. So he said, yes, I can finish this, but absolutely no more. So I'm realising, you know, actually, you know, if I hadn't been given a power tool, if I hadn't been given this, if I didn't have a garden up there, it's, you know, an empty house where I can have fires, I'm pretty useless as a gardener, because all I can do is chop stuff down, but I can't get rid of anything. So I guess that's why I'm £10 an hour, so I don't have any tools. But yeah, all a learning curve. But wow, it's hard work. I definitely don't need a gym membership if I'm doing this every day. But yes, inevitably, what has happened is now the next garden wants to in. So yeah, I've just gone. Pop, pop, pop. And this is why, you know, when I'm in the middle and I'm like, oh, I really want to take this, I'm like, no, because if I don't take this, I'll get more gardening work. Beep. Oh yeah, oven cooked, soft as ice cream, olive oil, and spice. Yeah, cowboy! Daddy's been shopping! I have never grafted so hard in my life. Six hours. I'm, I'm, I'm fucked. I'm absolutely knackered. Anyway, trying to burn it all before it rains. Rain is forecast now and all day tomorrow. So I'm trying to get, get through this now. It's pretty taken pretty well, actually. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I mean, it. It has taken, but all of this is just soaking and you can't get any air in it, so fuck knows what I'm going to do with that. But I reckon if I can burn what was already here, you know, then I'll leave a smaller pile than, than we started with. So, but yeah, I've learned a lot about quilts today. You look at a bush, you're like, oh, that'll take me two hours, 20 quid. There's a lot more to it. So yeah, I'm going to end up doing an hour for free, taking all to the tips where the big bits. I couldn't get through the shredder. Uh, well, I might have just some paper. Anyway, it's all been a learning curve. I'm very grateful. I've got 60 nickel in my back pocket. Uh, yeah. Suddenly, I'm like not scared about spending on food. Like when I got the first 300, I still didn't really want to spend on food. But I just put some, it's not cardboard, it's need. It's more board branches. So that's been done. Uh, so yeah, I didn't really want to spend on food, but now I can see a steady flow. The next garden is so overgrown and she's like very old, so. There's so much work there, and I was saying to people as we walk past, you know, £10 an hour. He said, well, it is £10 an hour, but I'm going to charge for everything. Rather than just a quitting. <laughs> uh, 
learning in life. So it's certainly not roaring, trying to burn wet, freshly cut wood in wet old England. It's rather dry. Just notice, so basically I've been taking the drier stuff off here. That's some really freshly wet stuff on this side. And I've just noticed it's smoking on this side. So I've stuck some paper in, I think it's about to be. I hit the wrong button by mistake. This is pretty cool. Nice slow-mo effect. I'd like to say I did it on purpose, but that's not true. Ooh, the benefits of living at home. Look at this. Wow. Oh, wow. The power of fire. I just love it. So I've had my pasta. I've had a bath. I've had a lie down. It's been two hours. But I'll just have a look outside, see if it's still smoking. Wow. Red hot in the middle. Still got flames. I better go out and stick what's on the side on it. Amazing. So I might have just completely smothered it. I've literally just chucked everything on it. But Tor Baby always said... But if it's hot enough inside, it will burn anything, even if it's raining. So let's see if the legendary pyromaniacs, words of wisdom, are true. We'll find out in the morning. So we're now two hours later, and I've just had a look out the window, and I was like, ah, oh, I've smothered it. Nah, everything's black. You can't see anything there. I just saw this little red glow in the middle, and I was like, oh, wow, it's still going. We'll see, see in the morning. As Tova always used to do, he always used to go out in the morning and enjoy the ashes and put his hand over it, like, Still red hot, uh, but it is proper pissing it down, so we'll see, we'll see. So it's the morning after the night before, how did it do? I mean, it has rained all night, so I think we can say, Tall Baby knows how to make a fire and his wisdom stands. That has done very well.